you all are welcome for today's lecture. It's our paper, Buddhist Culture in South Asia. Uh, <clears throat> this is the uh, lecture number three, part two. Medieval period from 11th century to 15th century. Uh, <clears throat> last week, uh, we start uh, started uh, first era of first period of Burma uh, for the uh, 10th century. Uh, it's the first topic. Uh, today we have to discuss second topic uh, from uh, 11th century to 15th century. It's called as medieval period. Uh, <clears throat> in this period, there was a famous kingdom, the Pagan. Pagan kingdom. Okay. The kingdom of Pagan, also known as Arimaddana Pura. It's called as Arimaddana Pura in Buddhist text belong to northern Burma, a north side of Burma. The region of King Anavarata uh, or Anuruddha. Both are same. Anavarata or Anuruddha uh, who lived here in considered an important era in Burmese history. Uh, he was a very famous king and uh, he did a lot of duty uh, for this, uh, for the Buddhist order, for Buddha Sasana uh, in this era. A Theravada monk named uh, Dhamma Darshi or Arahan, who came from Tetan. The name is Tetan. Okay, Tetan kingdom of southern Burma was converted to Theravada Buddhism by King Anuruddha uh, Anuratha. Uh, he was a monk. Uh, Dharma Darshi. Monk Arahan said that the Theravada Dharma book can be obtained uh, from the uh, from King uh, Manuha. It is the name, king's name, Manuha, who region in the Tetan kingdom. King Anuruddha made every effort to spread uh, Theravada Buddhism. Uh, then King Anuruddha uh, get his uh, all the effort to spread Theravada Buddhism. Dagabas known as uh, uh, pagodas uh, and monks' monasteries were built all over the country. In Pagan uh, kingdom, uh, King uh, Anu Atho Anruddha, he uh, built many uh, pagodas and monasteries. Uh, enlightened with the king, the countrymen accepted Theravada Buddhism by uh, thousand. Finally, the king made Theravada Buddhism the state religion. Ah. At last, they accepted Theravada Buddhism uh, in his kingdom. Then, relation with Sri Lanka. Ah. At, uh, in this period, uh, from 11th to 15th century, uh, there was a relationship with uh, Sri Lanka uh, <clears throat> at that time King Vijayabahu first Vijayabahu uh, ruled Sri Lanka at uh, this time uh, King Vijayabahu um, actually it is uh, in uh, Polonnaruva period in Sri Lanka not Anuradhapura period it is in Polonnaruva period after hearing about the virtuous monk in Burma, King Vijayabahu sent messenger to King Anuruddha to send a group of uh, learned uh, virtuous monk for 
uh, revision of the Sri Lankan monks order. Uh, at that time, uh, there was a uh, collapse in Sri Lankan Buddhist order. Therefore, King uh, Vijayabahu sent a message to the Burmese king uh, to uh, bring the uh, Burmese monks, virtuous monks. After the arrival of Burmese monks, uh, the Mahavihara Bhikkhu family uh, of Sri Lanka got a new life by starting the Upasampada in Sri Lanka. Uh, Upasampada means higher ordination. Okay. Can you hear? Yes. 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 You all are silent. I was afraid. Yes. <laughs> Okay, Upasampada mean ordination. Na? I did not uh, add the uh, English word Upasampada. I think I added it earlier notes. Therefore, I did not add. Uh, Upasampada mean higher ordination. Na? Mm, King Vijayabahu also sent an image of uh, uh, Dalada or Totrilik to Burmese king. Uh, along with Tripitaka books. Uh, uh, at that time, Burmese king asked to Sri Lankan uh, king, uh, please send the uh, uh, send me the um, Dalada uh, or Tooth Relic or, uh, and uh, Tripitaka books. Uh, at that time, Sri Lankan king sent a picture of uh, Tooth Relic or Dalada to the Burmese king. And Tripitaka books. Tripitaka means canon, Pali canon. A special thing done here in uh, compare the Tripitaka books received from Sri Lanka with the Tripitaka books obtained from the city of Sudam. Uh, in Burma, there was a, uh, we discussed about uh, Sudam city, uh, I think, uh, previous lesson. Uh, there was another Tripitaka. Uh, they compared Sri Lankan Tripitaka and uh, Sri Lankan uh, canon and uh, Sudamma canon, the city of Sudamma canon. This led to the creation of a Pio Theravada Tipitaka in Burma. Ah, therefore, they mixed both of the canon, Sri Lankan canon and uh, the canon uh, which uh, found uh, in Sudam city, uh, both uh, canon they mixed and they create another Pio Theravada canon in Burma. Uh, King Kyan Sith, Kyan Sith, Kyan Sith. Can you spell those names? Even I also can't spell Kyan Sith. Because these names are not familiar for us. The work started by King Anuruddha was continued after the region of uh, his son Kayansiddha. Uh, the Kayansiddha is the son of King Anuruddha. Okay. Uh, before we discussed about Anuruddha, now uh, Kayan Sita. Kayan Sita is the son of um, King Anuruddha or Anuratha. Uh, he completed the work on uh, Swedagon Pagoda started by his father. Uh, the Swedagon Pagoda is a very famous pagoda in Burma. Uh, it started uh, King Anuruddha or Anuratha. Uh, then, uh, but he uh, couldn't complete. Uh, then, uh, King Kyansitta, he completed uh, this pagoda, Swedagun. The king uh, provided facilities for the uh, rise of monk in education. Uh, the uh, Regents of Anuruddha 
uh, and Kyansitta can be considered as the formative period of Burmese culture and social history. Actually, we discussed uh, in Sri Lanka uh, the name uh, uh, King Dutugamunu. Okay, you remember Dutugamunu, King Dutugamunu, as well as uh, King, uh, King Anuruddha and uh, Kyansitta. Both of them did uh, their duty uh, as King Dutu Gavonu in Sri Lanka. Uh, every city and every uh, mountain peak was shining with huge pagodas and temples. Actually, uh, in modern uh, society also, we can see many pagodas uh, in those pagodas in Burma, uh, top of mountain. Uh, actually, I also uh, uh, I haven't visited uh, Burma, but I have seen only the photos or pictures. Those mountains uh, and the temples, pagodas and temples. A war between Burma and Sri Lanka. Uh, actually, uh, at that time, uh, there was a war. Uh, to uh, from Sri Lanka to um, Burma because uh, there was a uh, Sinhala uh, queen okay, Sinhala queen she went to the Cambodia uh, actually I mentioned it on your note huh? please read your note uh, Sri Lankan uh, uh, Queen, uh, she went to Cambodia, uh, but they uh, go through the Burma. Okay, uh, they go through the Bo Burma. Uh, at that time, the Burmese, uh, some Burmese person, uh, they uh, furnished and they did something for this queen. Uh, therefore, at that time in Sri Lanka, uh, there was a king. Uh, king Parakram Bahu is a major king in Sri Lanka in Polonaru period. At that time, he went a uh, went his uh, army general. Uh, his name is Kitnuragal. Kitnuragal, uh, and uh, they have uh, he started a war in Burma, not in Sri Lanka, in Burma. Uh, at that time. Burmese and Sri Lankan monks, they uh, involved to this uh, problem and they resolved this problem. Okay. Therefore, this shows the even during the war, the monks of the two countries resolved the political issues peacefully. Uh, the monks, uh, they also uh, involved uh, for the political issues too. The beginning of the Singhala Sangha sect in Burma. Uh, actually, uh, there was a uh, Singhala uh, Sri Lankan sect in Burma. Sri Lankan Buddhists began to uh, shine brightly due to the uh, Sangha uh, amendments, uh, etc., uh, made during uh, this time of King Mahaparakrama Bahu. King Parakrama Bahu at that time. Uh, at this time, Lord Uttarajiva, uh, who held the position of uh, Sanganayak, chief monk in Burma, went to uh, Sri Lankan. Uh, please wait.
Okay, I am sorry. <laughs> Uh, at that time, uh, uh, Kim Parakram Bahu was in Sri Lanka. Lord uh, Uttarajiva, who uh, held the position of uh, Sanganayaka or chief monk in Burma, uh, went to Sri Lanka with a monk called uh, Chappata. Can you spell this name? Chappata. Chappata. Chapata, yes. Uh, one of uh, novice monk or Samanera monk. Okay. Uh, the chief Sanganayaka monk is uh, Uttara Jeeva. Both of them uh, came to Sri Lanka. The uh, Chapata monk who studied Buddhism at the Mahavihara was ordained by Sinhalese monk. Uh, he studied Buddhism in Mahavihara. Do you remember Mahavihara? We discussed. Yes, Vandiji. Yes, Vandiji. Mahavihara is very famous. Yes. Uh, yes. He also obtained the degree of uh, Saddamma Jyotipala. It is a degree, title of degree, Saddamma Jyotipala from Mahavihara. It is. Uh, it was given by Mahavihara monks. Uh, Chapata Tero returned to Burma along with the Teras or Tero, Sivali, Cambodian resident, uh, uh, Kamalinda, uh, uh, and uh, Kachapur resident, Ananda, and Lanka resident, Rahul. He went uh, with those monks. A large number of monks who came from Ceylon, led by Chapata, received Upasampada here. Uh, they went again Burma, uh, Chapata monks and other uh, monks, and they uh, give the uh, Upasampada or higher ordination to the Burmese monk. Uh, then there was another uh, new sect in Burma. It is called as Singhala Sangha. Okay, because it uh, comes from Sri Lanka. Therefore, it called as Singhala Sangha or Sihala Sangha. Uh, okay. A decline. Uh, in this, uh, between uh, these two centuries, there was a decline of uh, Buddhist uh, order or Buddha Sasana with the death of King Narapati Situ. In the first half of the 13th century, the kingdom of Pagan began to decline. Uh, the Pagan kingdom uh, began to decline or collapse. By the end of the 13th century, uh, Bubilai Khan, okay, uh, end of the 13th uh, century, uh, the name is Bubilai Khan. Uh, he, uh, a Mong uh, he was a, a Mongol ruler of China. Uh, tried to take the Pagan kingdom under his control. Uh, in uh, 1277, Chinese army invaded the kingdom of Pagan. Uh, therefore, we can understand there was a collapse or uh, decline. Uh, religious weakened and uh, secularism split. However, the rulers were, if they were Buddhist, the inhabitants were uh, Yoga to support. Uh, the any ruler uh, who came to the king or leader uh, in the Burma, uh, they were Buddhist. Therefore, the people uh, every time tried to help to the leader or king because the leader is Buddhist leader. Therefore, the country people, they support to the king. Therefore, uh, it was easy to uh, control the country or government uh, to the king. Uh, the general uh, religious and social activities did not uh, deteriorate uh, much. Uh, they continues. Uh, 
religious and social activities because they were Buddhist kings. A bhikkhu uh, or sangha uh, amendment. Uh, uh, between these centuries, uh, 11th and 15th centuries, uh, there was a Sangha amendment. Uh, the confusing of political uh, politics order and Sangha uh, continued till the middle of the 15th century. The uh, disunity of the monks and the poor existence of the monks caused the order to further decline. Uh, King Dhammachetia, who led the monastic life before the arrival of the king of Burma, uh, Pegu, kingdom in the last part of this uh, century, uh, decided to save Sasana or order from this situation. Uh, king Dhammachetia, he was a uh, King in Pagan, uh, sorry, Pegu, uh, but before, before he uh, get the kingship, uh, he was a monk. Did you get the point? Before he uh, get kingship, he was a monk. Earlier he was a monk. Now he is a king. Uh, therefore, he knew the situation. And he knew the solution, how to uh, rebuild the Sasana or order. The rule of Ceylon at that time was King Buoneka Bahu IV, fourth Buoneka Bahu. Uh, did I say why uh, there was a number uh, with the king's name? Fourth Buoneka Bahu. First Bhunikabahu. Did I say? Mm. Sri Lanka. First Parakram Bahu and second Parakram Bahu and third Parakram Bahu, sixth Parakram Bahu. Because there are many kings in Sri Lanka with the same name. Okay? okay. First Parakram Bahu, then second one also. He's, he was also Parakram Bahu. Therefore, uh, he called second Parakram Bahu. Okay? And third Parakramba. Uh, as I remember, there were six Parakramba in Sri Lanka. And Bunekabahu also five or six. Oh, four, I don't know, I don't remember exactly how many Bunekabahus. Uh, he was a fourth Bunekabahu. Did you get the point? Yes, one day. They use same name. Okay, first, second, and third. Only a change. Group of 22 monks and 22 novice first in Ceylon. Uh, at that time, uh, King Dhammachetia, he sent uh, 22 monks and 22 novice monks to Sri Lanka. Uh, these monks uh, who received Upasampada, or higher ordination from Ceylon and returned to Burma, were warmly received by uh, King Dhammachetia. A larger uh, shrine is set up in Pegu city, the lay people and priests who have gathered to receive the ordination, no Upasampada, higher ordination uh, from him and the name Kalyani Sima has been applied to it to remember the Kalyani Upasampada. Uh, Kalyani means uh, now uh, those monks uh, which we discussed 22 uh, monks and 22 novice monks. Okay, they came to Sri Lanka and they uh, got higher ordination from Sri Lanka and they went again their country and they uh, gave the higher ordination to other monks. Uh, but it called as Kalyani Sima. Okay, uh, it is a uh, Vinaya Hall or disciplinary hall. Uh, the Sima is and uh, the Kalyani means, do you remember we discussed about uh, there is a part of kingdom in Sri Lanka, Kalani? Yes. Do you remember? Uh, within Sri Lankan Buddhist culture, we discussed uh, Kalyani area, Kalani area. Uh, there was a uh, river, Kalani river. Okay, Kalani river called as 
Kalyani. Okay, sometimes use Kalyani River. Okay, ah, the those uh, monks who obtain higher ordination or Upasampada in Sri Lanka uh, near the Kalyani River. Did you get the point? They obtain Upasampada or uh, they received higher ordination near the Kalyani River. Ah, therefore, it called has Kalyani Upasampada. Did you understand? Yes, okay. In Sri Lanka, they got Upasampada near the Kalyan River or oh, Kalani River. Kalani means Kalyan. Okay, both are same. Ah, therefore, this Upasampada called as Kalyan Upasampada. Okay. Ah, and there were some in inscriptions. Uh, it should be inscriptions, huh? not inscription. Not one inscription. There were many inscriptions. Uh, actually, it was a mistake. Huh? Please correct uh, when uh, you get the uh, copy or print out. Huh? Okay. okay. The Kalyan inscriptions uh, uh, starts uh, that the number of monks who received Upasampada here is uh, how many? 15,666. Ah, they got Upasampada uh, from those monks who uh, obtain Upasampada from Sri Lanka near the Kalyani River. Ah, the king made a larger document on a number of marble tables uh, detailing the history of the Burmese order, Osasana, and his receives. Uh, uh, sorry, service to the Sasan. Ah, he mentioned uh, those uh, uh, service and history of the Burmese order uh, in the uh, marble uh, tables. Ah, these are from famous Kalyani inscription. Ah, uh, it called as uh, Kalyani. Uh, those are called as Kalyani inscriptions. Okay. Mm. Read it speedly. Huh? <laughs> okay. Do you have any question? <laughs> no. Did you read the note? No. Is it clear? Yes. We will uh, go <laughs> to the notes. Okay, actually we have another two topic hmm? mm. uh, in Burmese uh, Buddhist culture. Uh, one is uh, the last period uh, of Burmese um, modern period uh, from 16th century to up to now. Okay, it is one topic hmm? and another one uh, uh, yes, we have to discuss another topic, uh, the Burmese culture, okay, education uh, and uh, art and architecture, okay, uh, temples, okay, and the other uh, statues and some paintings, okay. Uh, about then the uh, Buddhist uh, with Buddhist culture, okay, how created uh, those uh, statue statues and uh, other things with Buddhist culture, okay. Uh, those two topic we have discussed. Then uh, we can finish the uh, Burmese Buddhist culture. And is it uh, a vacation next week? Yes. yes. Next week. Yes. Ah, but I saw a timetable. Uh, there was a mistake in this timetable, lah. Twenty ninth of uh, May. It mentioned, mm -hmm. but it should correct twenty ninth of April. April. Yes. Ah, but I saw twenty ninth of May. Am I correct? No, no, no. From 29th of oh. April. April? But yes. in the timetable, I saw uh, 29th of May. 
Okay, okay. Anyhow, uh, should we uh, give a holiday or vacation week next week? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, then uh, we can meet again week after next. Yes. Okay, uh, because uh, next week uh, it is a Vesak OA. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is okay, okay. as 29th of May. Sorry? Golden Sorry? vacation is, uh, it is written 29th of May. It is 29th of April. It should be 29th of April. Uh, huh? Yes. But they mentioned 29th of May. May yes. Yes, they, 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 I saw. <laughs> there was a mistake. I yes. saw. It's uh, uh, Japanese Golden Week. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay, if you don't have any question, uh, we can wind up today's lecture. Actually, I am also very tired today because <laughs> from morning to now, I did many works, so hard works. <laughs> because there was an English day program in our monastery. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, we can discuss uh, next topic week after next. Okay. I okay. will uh, send this presentation and uh, we will meet again week after next. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming to this lecture, uh, this class. And may the triple gem bless you. Sadhu, 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 sadhu. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bhante. You're welcome.